Uh, ah. Today has been a very strange day. It's currently five minutes past five on the day that you are watching this video. And just for context, I usually upload my videos at 6 p.m. my time. So I've got 55 minutes to record this video, edit it, render it, and upload it. So I don't know if this video is going to be on time, but um, hopefully you see it at some point. <laughs> so yeah, I've just been so busy today that I've just not had time to sit down and record a video. So what I thought I'd do is number one, just hit record and see what happens. Number two, wear a hat because I haven't done my hair, but I couldn't decide which hat to wear. So I wore both. And number three, I had to try and find some games to play. So I found three random little games that I think should be pretty fun. I haven't tested them at all, so this video could go either really well or really badly. Either way, it's gonna have to be today's video. <laughs> Let's see what happens. The first game is called Carrots and Cream, which is a little bit strange. So um, let's just hit play and see what happens. Is someone eating? I hate the sound of eating. Please start the game. I don't like this. Guys, I don't like this. Come on. Ah! What was that? Wait a second. Apparently, this is a short horror game about picking carrots, making dinner, and all sorts of other spooky things. What? Okay, I'm going to restart because I messed up. Let's see what happens after the weird eating sound happens. Oh, we have movement. We have movement. There's that weird noise. Okay, we have a carrot. We have... Okay, it's gone. <laughs> what is going on here? Am I picking my carrots? Nice! Okay, this is a shovel, right? I guess we need to get on that light green part. There we go! Carrot Simulator 2017. Can we get the carrot now? There we go, nice! How many carrots do we need, though? Apparently one more can- ah! There we go, spot on! That is the perfect carrot for our carrots and cream. I'm not even sure what carrots and cream is. We definitely don't have it in the UK, so it might be something from somewhere else. But today, we're gonna be making it. Let's give me this carrot! Oh, how many carrots do we need? Carrot number five. Please don't- yes! Please don't make me do more than five. That's a really annoying minigame. Um, so we got some cream. Is it literally carrots and milk? Is that what's going on here? Don't steal mine. Don't steal my milk. Okay, um, we- <laughs> Are we grating the carrots? Are you kidding me? Is that what's going on here? We're just grating carrots. This is gameplay right here, guys. Gameplay. All right, carrot number one is down. I told you these games are weird, but- I didn't know they were this weird. What happens when you don't have an idea for a video for the day? You just end up grinding virtual carrots to eat carrots and cream. A food you've never even eaten before or even heard of. Grind it. Grind the carrots. Oh no, please don't make me dig carrots again. Don't make me dig carrots again. What is going on? What is this? Is that a worm? Hello? Oh! What just happened? What just happened? I just killed the worm. Um, do I control this? I do! That is so gross. That is disgusting. I need to like click and drag the worm. Oh, no, no, go worm. Go, 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 go. Okay, I've eaten through the carrots. Where do I need to get to? What is my goal in life? I'm a worm. Okay, that spade is getting pretty close. I'm not liking that. Can we make a home inside one of these carrots? Nope. Okay, maybe not. Let's just keep on going. Oh, wait, there's one last a juicy looking carrot. Let's just avoid the spade though. I don't want to get killed again. Come on. You can do it, little worm. You can do it. Oh, there's more carrots. Yo. Yo, that spade needs to get away from me. But look how big that carrot is. Yo. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> look at the size of that bad boy. All right, let's get these tiny carrots out of the way. Then we can focus on grinding down that big one. What am I doing? Like, seriously, what is going on here? Oh, the big carrot. The big carrot is about to be ground into the most beautiful cookies and cream ever. What? Uh, that was a weird game. Let's move on. Right, next up we have... I kid you not, this game is called Life of a Piece of Sliced Bread. Or something like that. And I don't know why it's got like some kind of real nice rap beat behind it, but um, is this the menu? Start, load, credits, options, quit. There can't be that many options, surely. Let's just uh, hit start. And see what happens. Here we go. You feel a burning pain in your side, like someone just stabbed you with a knife. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. You sound like you're from England, buddy. <laughs> it turns out that apparently someone did just stab you with a knife. Well, that's not very nice. Oh, wait. I think I know where this is going. It seems 
that you're a piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piece of bread. Well, I used to be a loaf of bread until someone stabbed me in the side. Okay, what can possibly happen as a slice of bread? We are You're about to find out. Fine with this. I am completely fine with this. But just then, a thought hits you. What? Okay, stop! What will I do? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I have a choice. Hop away. Off to freedom I go. Realize that I was taken away from my entire family. My loaf or accept my fate. I'm out of here. Let's go. And will be established. And it all starts with you. Nice. That music was very loud though. Oh. Starting off your grand escape with a poorly executed backflip, you make it onto level ground. Yes! Perfect. I thought I was going into a toaster. That would have been bad. Oh, go left or go right. Itty, meeny, money, mo. Catch a toaster by the toe. If it screams, because it won't, it's an inanimate object. Right. Here we go. Look at this. Wait. Someone's picked me up. This can't be good. It appears no! that the odds are not in your favor, as your torturer recaptures you in their gigantic grip and sticks you back in the toaster where you belong. No. This can't be the end already, surely. Nice job there, Texas. No! Am I dead? <laughs> I'm dead already. They turned me into toast. Okay, so there must be something else we can do here. Let's go left. Carefully choosing to hop to the left in hopes of escaping, you find yourself facing an open door. Nice! You feel small compared to the large opening in the wall that leads to your freedom. A door. But at the same time, excited by all the new opportunities you now have. Yeah, and that tree kind of has like a really like derpy face. It's, it's cool. <laughs> Here we go. a few more hops, you make it to the outside world. Where will you go first? Um, where, where will I go first? I don't know where to go. Do I want to go back inside or do I want to go to that swanky looking hot dog cart? I want hot dogs. Let's go. You make your way to the swankiest hot dog cart in town. Operated by an even equally swanky looking person who <laughs> looks to be bent over and asleep, their chin resting on the palm of their hand, snoozing face inches close to falling on the scalding hot surface of the cart. Oh no, I must be the bread hero that I've always wanted to be. Here we go. What do I do? Excuse me, ma'am. Wake up. You're about to burn alive. Excuse me, sir. Wake up. You're about to burn alive. This looks to be a... Duh. I don't know what that means, so I just scream to warn them. Don't say anything and let them burn. <laughs> um, well, we either need to scream at them, let them die, or we have to decide whether they're a male or a female. Um, oh no. I think I'm gonna scream at them. <laughs> okay, uh. Uh, what happens now? They automatically stand up straight, <laughs> their eyes wide, and a confused expression to match. <laughs> I'm not surprised. A piece of bread just screamed at them. They quickly realize the situation they were in, and that you just saved them from a hell of a medical bill. I did. I did. They pick you up and hold <laughs> you up in the air. Certainly not unlike how that monkey picked up Simba in The Lion King. <laughs> do you ever do that to your bread, guys? No, I, I need to. From now, from today, I will do that every time I get a piece of bread out of the toaster. I will hold it high, just like in The Lion they King. They praise you endlessly for saving their face, mentioning somewhere in the word vomit that their name is Alex. <laughs> so what now? Oh, what do we do now? Me and Alex versus the world. Oh my goodness. Alex and I have a wonderful relationship and I work with them at hot dog carts. I leave abruptly. I don't even want to talk to this person anymore. Alex and I became great friends and attend bowling tournaments every weekend as a team. And you know, other friend things like that. Uh, I want to stay here and work at the hot dog cart. That'll, that'll be you amazing. You know Alex better and eventually ask them to go on a date. To which they reply, yes. Oh, uh, uh-oh. You two hit it off famously, and you end up working with them at the hot dog cart, <laughs> ending this small adventure on a good note. Yes! Did I did I get a good ending? Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. You've earned it. Ah, oh, yes. The end. <laughs> this game's hilarious. I love this one. So there must be loads of endings to this. We've got a bad ending and a good ending. So I'm just going to leave it there just in case. Okay, so that was fun, but the fun does not end there. We've got one more game to play that I found. It's called Super Sculptor. And it looks a little bit crazy. You need to make like an art installation, but you can use pretty much anything you like. So I can use police bread. 
also known as a donut. And I can do some other things. I can twist this round. I can change what I'm doing. What's this? I just placed the donut. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's see what else we can use. Whoa, there's a hand. There's actually a hand. Can I put... Wait a second. Can I put a hand holding a donut or an eye? Can I do that? I can. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, a danger enhancer. Does it not cut the arm? It doesn't. Oh, that would have been amazing. There's also a hammer. Very nice. We can put a couple of those in. Very cool. A brain house, also known as a skull. Can we put that on the arm as well? We can. Oh, this is great. Motion enhancer. Wait, so can we put anything on this and make it move? There we go. Spinning mushroom. <laughs> That's so weird. Can we stack these high? Oh, dude, this is so weird. So we can slow down time, add whatever we like to this, including spy cameras. We can also add violent sticks, a, a pie bomb, and then speed up time and see what happens. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's really weird. Oh, look, I can make the Game Boy bounce. How many Game Boys can we have here? Can we just have loads? Done. <laughs> okay, I think that's all we can get. So we can pretty much just like add whatever we want to anything on here and make a crazy art installation. My one's currently valued at 2,800. Awesome. But people are not liking it that much, so I need to improve it. Wait, I've had an amazing idea. Can you put stuff on the fan? You can! <laughs> go, 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 go. Yes! I call it Game Boys in Motion. What happens if I put finish it? Yes! Perfect. Valued at 3,100. It's got dancing mushrooms. The mushrooms have got all stretched for some reason. I, I didn't do that at the beginning. <laughs> I think we should go real simple for this one. We, we need something to bounce. I think we can go for an, an iPhone. Okay, you ready to see my masterpiece? Here it is. Let's speed it up real quick. There we go. It's called arms, eyes, and a little bit more. I wonder what the most expensive thing is here. It must be this. Yeah, plus 1,500. Let's just put things everywhere. Let's put these everywhere. The Patreon response is sleepy. Oh, okay. That's that's fine. You know what? It, it's gold. It's super gold. Look, <laughs> this arm has like a, a massive blob of gold attached to his eyeball. <laughs> Why is something on fire? Why is something on fire? What happened? Oh no, there's TVs as well. I said something on fire. And I don't even know how. Okay. Okay. I take it back. This is my masterpiece. Look at it. It's beautiful. I literally just randomly clicked everywhere. There's a fire in the middle, which looks amazing. There's uh, trampolines everywhere. There's fire just like roaming around the outside for some reason. There's this crazy umbrella and I don't know what's going on. Let's finish it. And there we go. It's called Dreams for the Future 2017. And I think that is one beautiful creation. I don't know about you. And it's valued at $127,127. How did I do that? <laughs> That's an amazing valuation though, right? I want you guys to bid for this in the comment section down below. <laughs> you won't actually be able to buy it. It's just a joke. So yeah, those were some really random games for a really random video on a really random day. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll do more of these little games with like three or more in one video so that you can see... Lots of randomness in one little video. So if you enjoyed it, please do a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you, guys. I'll also leave a link to all the games in the description below, too, because they were really funny. Definitely check out that slice of bread game. I want to see what other endings there are. Tweet them at me. I would love to know. I just spat all over my screen. Yum. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If this happens to be the first video you see by me, please do consider subscribing to Joy Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. But apart from that, why don't you stick around and check out another video by me, which you can see right here. Here, I promise you, you will enjoy it. Well, I hope you do. It won't involve breads or sculptures. Might involve carrots, though. Check it out.